What's going on everybody? I get this question asked all the time. If I'm gonna use a computer with GS Pro, how am I gonna connect the Wi-Fi to both the Mevo Plus and to the internet? Let's go through it. Hey everybody, Scott Hogan here. Welcome to this Ask Scott. A lot of people are getting their simulators and their home setups at this time of year. A lot of sales and stuff going on. So I get this question all the time and I'll give you a, a little bit more look into my setup. It has changed. So I will do a full setup view of everything because it's not just the computer, but we have everything that's changed a little bit. So I will go through all of that in a different video, but this one we want to solve this question of all right, how do I connect Wi-Fi to the Mevo and also to the internet? So what you're gonna need, I'm actually doing this, is I'm solving an issue I'm having, which is you need one of these Wi-Fi dongles, okay? Now this one was like 10 bucks that I bought probably three years ago now, maybe four, okay? So it has now gone bad, at least as far as I can tell because it no longer is picking up any of the signals or any of the Wi-Fi. It does it once in a while, but then it gives out. So I've tried all the troubleshooting I can get, going into device manager, trying to uninstall, do drivers, all that stuff. So instead of just spending more time uh, when we can just get this overnighted, a new one from Amazon and uh, go from there. So we've got a $15 one now that we are gonna use this TP-Link and uh, yeah, we're gonna get it installed, let's set it up. So, so when you get it, you're gonna get a couple things. It's really, really simple to do. Now, you have a couple of options. You have, what I have on my computer is I have Wi-Fi built in to my setup, okay? So you can see here on the bottom right, I have the Wi-Fi and it just says Wi-Fi, nothing else, and you can see I'm connected to the internet and all that. Now I'm gonna need that second connection to be able to then connect to a different device. So that's where you need another way to be able to connect. Now, I use these dongles. Now I'm actually glad I have to update because now I'm on a USB 3.1. one. This other one was old and it was only a US 2.0. But you could run an ethernet cable if your computer is capable of doing that. I just don't do it. I would have to run it all the way through the house and then my wife would not like that. It would go into our bedroom where our router is because that's where it gets the best signal and yada, yada, yada. Just not feasible for me. But honestly, if I had the option to do ethernet, I would do it. If you're gonna wire the connection, it's always just gonna work better, okay? That's just what I think. Uh, and I don't know if that's actually proven, but I'm pretty sure it is, okay? So really simple to set this up though. All we're gonna do is take out what we need I don't know why they give you CD-ROMs. I don't know the last time I had a CD-ROM in a computer, but uh, they give you that for the drivers. I'm really just gonna need the instructions. So very, very simple process. All we're gonna do, we are going to plug this guy in. Okay, so we will plug it in and we're probably gonna have to do a little bit of work. Okay, we're gonna have to get the drivers for it set up, but you can actually see it's just already working for me here, okay? Now you may need to go to their website, install the drivers, but right now it is already saying, hey, here you go. So all I'm gonna do, I'm going to connect. I've got it set up. You can see how now I have two options, right? Two, three, okay, go there and there. Very good. I'm gonna go ahead, let's get logged in on the Wi-Fi. So. I use all touch screens, so. And I'm not worried about you knowing my Wi-Fi password for my Mevo Plus because it is the serial code. It matches whatever it is on the device there. So we'll let it connect and uh, we're gonna be as simple as that. We're gonna be done. And there we go, we are now connected. So you can see on Wi-Fi 3, we have the Mevo, Wi-Fi 2, we have the internet, okay? Now, one little tip that I like to do just to make life a little bit easier is I go into the Wi-Fi settings. If you don't know how to get there, you hit settings, you just search for it, and then you are gonna go to network and internet, and then you click Wi-Fi down here. And so now you can see I have Wi-Fi 2, Wi-Fi 3. You know, I could rename those if I wanted to, uh, I believe. Um, I don't do that, but what I like to do is manage known networks. So what I do is I put, 
I just make sure, hey, my internet's the only known network on one of the connections. And then I make sure the Mevo Plus is the only other known network on the other connections. So that way, once I turn the Mevo Plus on, it recognizes it, it connects automatically. Same thing for the internet when you turn the other one on. So you don't have to, you know, in theory, you don't have to go back in and ever actually connect them. They just do it for you. Sometimes it will not work. You gotta just go in and click and connect. Some, I don't know, sometimes it just doesn't do it, but a lot of times it will do that for you, okay? So just a little tip that we add there, but now we'll fire it up. Already a good sign, we are on the internet. It would not let us start GS Pro without being on the internet. You have to be on the internet for that. And then down below, we are gonna see if we get connected to our launch monitor, already a good sign. It's updated some of the numbers and we are connected, it says ready. So we are good to go. So again, had a bad dongle, so I just had to switch it out. So I just wanted to show you how we were gonna set that up. It's that easy nowadays. You plug it in and you go, if it doesn't work, you just get the drivers from the manual. But again, a lot of times for me, I don't think I've ever actually had to do that. You just plug it in and you are ready to roll. So a nice little $10, $15 solution to be able to do this. Now I don't have to run a wire and all that stuff, make my wife mad going through there. So if you have more questions about your setups, I'm getting a ton of them, trying to answer as many as I can. So uh, this one, we had so many of them asked. I said, let's just do a video about it. But if you have questions, please let me know things that you need to know. Hey, how did you set this up? How do you do that? And again, I'm gonna do a full run through of the setup, how I do everything, where I don't use a keyboard, I don't use a mouse, all that stuff. It's all touch screens. I will talk all about that and what I have set up here. So thanks everybody for tuning in. Click the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber already. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.